Springer. We'll start with Grant Ramey, then Mike Wilson. Jaden, what, what changed for you and Keon, I guess, not just in the second half, but but all night tonight, you guys taking over? Well, really, um, I got to give credit to Coach because he told us to be aggressive. He told us to get downhill, make some plays, make stuff happen. And so we stuck to the game plan. I guess it worked out. Yeah, Jaden, Rick said that a lot of the practices the last few days, you guys are being told to, to run, run, run. Why do you think it, it took to this point to, to really get out there and run in transition like that? But really, um, I feel like we got caught up in like gets like too much of running the plays and stuff like that, and we forget and just really get run out, get easy buckets first, and then we can get to that. And that's probably the biggest thing they've been um, talking to us about the last few days, last week or so. When, when did did you, when did you when did you and Keon really feel like you guys were were in control of this game, like you two specifically? Really during the game, I don't think we was really thinking about it too much. We were just going out playing basketball, just trying to trying to win the game. That's really what it was. We were just playing hard. Hey guys, we're, we're getting ready to hit some weather, so we're going to have to try to rush this. So no follow ups, please. Uh, sorry about that, but go ahead, Rob. Jaden, just how much confidence were you and Keon getting from each other? How much were you feeding off each other in the second half? Um, I was definitely feeding off Keon energy because he he set the tone from the jump. He was being aggressive. He was making plays, making things happen. So um, I would just kind of follow his lead out there. David. Hey, uh, Jaden, can you just talk about the fouls that y'all had early? It resulted in you playing 19 first half minutes. What was that kind of experience like, and how do you think you held up? Um, I feel like in the beginning of the game, you could definitely see how physical it was. We set the tone from the jump. So. Um, we saw that coming. We just knew we had to stay out there and just keep playing no matter what happened, no matter who's on the floor with us. Wes Rucker, then Gustavo. Hey, Jaden, I know with, with Fulke being in so much foul trouble tonight, the offense a lot of times goes through him in some ways. With him being in foul trouble, did that just, you know, make it more pressing for, for y'all to have to go do what you did and really push it? Um, I could see that a little bit, but really, like I said, like the past week, the last few weeks, Coach was just really telling us to get downhill, really push the ball in transition. I feel like we stuck to that game plan and it really worked out for us. Jaden, how special was to play the first time at Rupp Arena as a Vol and got the win? You know, Rupp Arena has such a history in Tennessee, won last year and then got the win this year. Um, yeah, that uh, this was a big win for us because definitely coming to Rupp Arena, a team like Kentucky, their history and stuff they have, and this is my first time seeing it. Um, it was just great experience, great atmosphere. Let's finish up with Jake. <laughs> Jaden, you and Keon combined for 50 tonight. Have you guys had a chance to look at the stats and just realize what you were able to do together in that second half? Can you, can you repeat that one more time, please? You and Keon Johnson combined for 50 points tonight. Have you guys had a chance to look at the stats yet and really fathom what you did in that second half together? No, nah, I don't really think neither one of us really looked at the stats and nothing like that. Really, we just we just go out there. We just hoop, just do our thing. We don't really pay attention to all that other stuff. All right, thank you guys. We'll have Keon next.